It's a craze, a growing trend, and for some, becoming a lifestyle. I wish my life was a filter. It just takes away like all your imperfections. What's the fascination? Well, the ability to look at a different version of yourself instantly. In fact, several versions of yourself with just a swipe and voila. That's why Snapchat filters are amazing. <laughs> a new reality of beauty. More perfect. That's the goal, more perfection. It's everywhere we look on social media, flawlessly lit, primped photos. You don't even take real pictures anymore because everything has a filter. You feel like you're more beautiful with a filter? Yeah, of course. Doesn't everyone? So is this the end goal? Yeah, always. But a new wave emerging, stepping out of the digital world. So I get my lips done here. And going under the needle to reflect the magic mirror. I like sometimes to put a little filler in my cheek just to kind of give it a little lift. All right, you ready? Making your filters we go in. your reality. So you have girls coming in with photos of themselves with Snapchat filters saying, hey, I want to look like this. Absolutely. It's real. Just ask Kirsten Cowan. This is my ideal look. Here for her routine lip fillers, and she's no stranger to Botox. It gives me the bigger lips and the no wrinkles and everything that the filter does. Do you feel like you may have some sort of case of Snapchat dysmorphia? Yes. I think everyone does, a little bit. Perhaps a little. So where does one draw the line? Beverly Hills Dr. Paul Nassif has seen the transformations take dangerous turns. Filter dysmorphia, social media dysmorphia, is becoming more and more common. So you and you look like this. Do you ever kind of question yourself, like, do I have a problem? No, but people question me. They're like, do you have a problem? You're going back. It's the problem Terry Mazahari, owner of Inside Out Aesthetics, has to look out for, aware of what's at stake for her patients if it hits the extreme. That's how you control that. So we all see that, you know what, I wish I looked better here. You know, some of that is normal. Pumping more fat in your lips than they can handle unknown products. Losing sight and losing sight of your true self. A lot of people just do it. You know, I think what sets you apart is doing the right thing and sometimes saying no. And while the look may be available at your fingertips, it may not be attainable in reality. The filters are one thing, but third-party apps like Facetune also offering quick and easy manipulations to your selfies. Smoother skin, smaller nose, bigger eyes, fuller lips, voila. It's a shift clinical psychology specialist Dr. Morgan Francis says really can be crumbling to one's self-esteem. The magnitude is, is way more severe because we're not thinking, I want to look like them, I want to look like a better version of myself. A 2017 survey shows 55% of plastic surgeons report seeing patients seeking surgeries to approve their appearance in selfies. That's up 42% from the previous year. Do you feel like, you know, it could potentially be an, an illness for I, yourself in particular? I mean, yes and no. In order for a person to get help, they're really going to need to have someone to talk to if it is something that's really negatively affecting their self-esteem. Terry wants to give her patients what they want, but she also wants them to know the needles can't fix what may be broken inside. That's why our practice here is called Inside Out, because we have a team of counselors, therapists, and um, life coaches to help them and guide them to another way to wake up and look at life. Life outside the lens. These patients admitting. And it's bad. It makes you feel good when you do it. But then like in reality, it's like you're living up to these fake expectations. Sometimes I feel like they are a little unrealistic, <laughs> so. Snapchat dysmorphia bringing a blur between the lines of reality and fantasy. Experts say patients must be aware. They say let's do a little bit. And understand what's attainable and what will only be possible through the magic mirror. That's what I wanted them to be. Stefania Coley, Fox 10 News.